Hello, my name is Matthew Allred and I'm one of the contributors of CatTrain. I wanted to take a few minutes and highlight some of the new features that have been added to CatTrain in the past few weeks. If you want to give CatTrain a try, you can download it by using the link in the description. Yesterday, version 1.2.2 dropped and with it came the ability to download the latest neural nets for Catago directly from CatTrain's UI. This update is part of an effort to make Catago easily accessible without a lot of configuration or technical knowledge. Basically, you can now download CatTrain, run the EXE, and take advantage of Catago right out of the box. If you want to learn more about Catago's training and use the latest networks that were just compiled, all you have to do is click Download Models in the General Settings menu. I think I'll do another video at some point, a little later, that dives into the differences between these neural networks, how to configure Catago to use multiple GPUs, and some of the more advanced AI settings that CatTrain makes available. For now, if you want to learn more, I suggest you visit LightVector's GitHub page and read through the Catago release notes. CatTrain is a robust tool for learning and analyzing Go games, and is backed with the superhuman Catago AI which is great if you just want to know where the best move is, but it's not very helpful if you're a beginner. That's why I'm so excited about this next feature, the ability to tune Catago to play at different ranks from 15Q to 3Dawn. If you want to know more about how this feature was developed, you can read the entire development log at the GitHub site. Now, not only does it involve quite a bit of math and some excellent scatter plots, there's also a set of OGS bots that were used to calibrate the rank settings. I want to give a big thanks to everybody who played against these bots and helped make this feature a reality. Now let's jump into CatTrain and see how to configure Catago to play a specific rank. In order to set Catago to play at a specific rank, you first need to select an AI player and then for the AI strategy, click on the drop down and select calibrated rank. To actually set the rank, you need to go into AI settings. Click on the drop down menu, select calibrated rank, and then enter the rank that you want in the field below. Please note if you want to set it to 3 Dawn, you actually need to set it to negative 2. Another new feature in version 1.2 can be found in the analysis tab. There is now an interactive move tree. You can navigate the move tree with your mouse or use the left and right arrow keys to move back and forth along a single branch. The up and down arrow keys move from child branch to parent branch. One of the benefits of the move tree, besides preventing me from getting hopelessly lost in variations, is the ability to use Catago's win rate and score estimate to compare the end positions of different variations. Here at move 27, I considered extending to D10 but was worried about the cross-cut at M15, the resulting fight at the top. So I decided to Hane and gain some influence to help support the top black stones. As you can see, the difference between these two variations is about a 10% win rate. Further improvements in the UI include the ability to expand or collapse the information panes and have those settings retained as you move back and forth between the game and analysis modes. This is also true for any board overlays that are checked. This allows players to customize the amount of information visible during an AI teaching game, which can sometimes be distracting. To further help remove distractions during play, you can minimize the UI by hitting the tilde or the M key on the keyboard. This will cycle through three different UI options. Note that if you still want to peek at the board overlays in the analysis modes, you can use the tab button on the keyboard to quickly move back and forth between play and analysis. This functionality still works in the minimized mode. The last UI update I want to highlight is the ability to click on the win rate graph and jump through different moves in the game. You can even click and drag to get a more precise cursor. This will allow you to zero in on big swings and blunders. I hope these new features will help you learn more about your game, whether playing against Catago in a particular Q rank or using its full strength to review your games. If you'd like to get involved in the project, 
please click on the Contribute button in the game menu. CatTrain now supports seven languages, and more volunteers are needed to continue improving CatTrain and making it accessible to Go players around the world.